Hello everybody, how you doing on this fine evening? Well, at least it's the evening for me, it might be a different time for you, but who cares? So let's get on to the tutorial. Today we're going to talk about adjusting hue and saturation. And we're going to do this using the adjustment command up here in the image options. So let's go to image. Make sure you have an image loaded so you can do something to it. Adjustments. Let's go to hue and saturation and you can see that the hotkey is control u now the hue and saturation allows you to change the hue saturation and the brightness which is also called lightness in this i don't know why they just don't call it brightness but um you're able to uh, change these and you can change them for the different um, colors in your image now you um have the colorize option down here which allows you to um, give an overall color cast so if you click on it you can change the overall color of your image if you uncheck it you don't all right now the hue uh, gives you the ability to change the images uh, colors and it's a little different from the color cast but it's um, our clicking colorize here but it's uh, they're almost the same thing, but they're also a little different. So it doesn't affect it as much. It doesn't give it like a huge overall when you use the hue, just the hue instead of the color cast. So let's put this at zero. If you hold down Alt, you can uh, your cancel button here changes to reset. So you can click on that. And uh, on a Mac, that is the option button. I'm not really sure if it does it on a Mac or not. If you hold the Alt, Alt or Option key, but you can try it out. See if it works. So the next thing we got here is saturation, and that controls the amount of color. Now you can bring it all the way to the left, and this will desaturate your image, or you can gain more saturation if you bring the image up, or if you bring the slider up. Now this image here, let's go to let's go reset it. This image here is already saturated a decent amount, so you may want to do something like actually desaturate it to make it look a little more normal. The next thing we got here is the lightness or brightness and uh, that determines how bright the color is and that is based on the hue and saturation. So if I move it up it's going to increase the brightness, overall brightness. Move it down it's going to make it darker. Um, only I would only recommend using this in small amounts as you can see. You can tell when it starts getting blown out it looks stupid. Um, if you start getting way too dark it also looks dumb. So. Um, use this in moderation. Now I want to show you we got some presets here. Um, these custom presets here are pretty cool. Um, this one's stupid. The first one is cyanotope. It basically changes it all to blue. It puts the colorize on there so it just colorizes everything to blue. Uh, if you use the up and down on your arrow keys you can go through them. We've got increased saturation, more, increased saturation, old style um, you can see basically all they did is desaturate this pretty much and then a couple other ones you can go through you can create your own if you go to uh, custom here and just start messing like with your own things and save a preset if you wanted to just name it save it under your hue and saturation folder and it will appear uh, let me just save this and we'll just call this the Hulk save and uh, this, and now it'll show up in your saturation, uh, or in your uh, presets down here. And you can always click on that. You can also load presets. So if you find something from the internet, or you have old ones from like an old version of uh, Photoshop, or you uninstall and reinstall Photoshop, and you need to reload your presets, this is how you do it here. And you can also delete the current preset if you actually hate it that much, so you need to delete it. So, or if your things are getting all like you have so many presets that it's like in your way, then go ahead and use that to delete it. We've got our um, eyedropper tools here that um, are grayed out now, but you can get to them. Let me go to uh, default here. Let's go to um, something like reds, and now we can use our eyedropper tools here to. Um, basically select certain colors and and things like that down here in the uh, hues and we can open them up and things like that 
we've got our little uh, finger pointer here and remember that um, allows you to select saturations so if I wanted to uh, select like this yellow right here I could select it and hold and drag left and right and it'll decrease the saturation or increase the saturation of those colors so it goes in the color range that is down here so when you use your eyedropper tool let's select his skin here you can see it moves that to that area and then if I increase and decrease the saturation oops, click and hold then use this tool right here it'll increase and decrease the saturation of those types of colors so that's it for the hue and saturation and um, I guess that's all I gotta say so thank you for watching this one I look forward to seeing you in the next one we'll go over uh, the adjusting the vibrance Ooh, cool. See you guys later. Have a good one.